at that monster. Alright guys, what we got going on here that you guys probably can't see at home is these two little islands up here have a really long extended rock point that comes out. We have a bunch of current coming down, it just rained the last couple days. So there's a lot of uh, water flowing through here. What I'm doing is using this point as a current break and I think these fish are set up on the back side of it facing into the current waiting for something to come up. Back here where the boat is we actually have a little bit of an eddy swirling backwards here. So we're going to see if we can't catch a few more in here. Most of the time when fish are holding in current breaks, they're going to be positioned at or near the edge of the main current. So it's a good idea to focus most of your efforts on those key areas. Not a bad little walleye there. nice walleye. So I can't stress enough guys, when you find a little current break, especially in the spring like this, um, make sure you fish it thoroughly. I just made probably five different passes through this one little section here up to this point and caught three different fish. Uh, there might be some more there too, so I'm probably going to keep making a few more passes here. Fish number four out of the same exact little hole. Closer to a perch. <laughs> now five fish out of the same little hole though. The majority of the time I'll be casting parallel with the current and bringing my bait all the way back down the seam. It's also not a bad idea though to sometimes cast out into the current almost perpendicular with it and bring your bait back into the slack water. Still though, that's six, fish number six out of the same little pocket. There's another one. This one feels a little better. Oh yeah. Much better. I'll get the net for it. There we go. Another nice little walleye. 